Sean, do you write every day? Do I write every day? I do now. Um, I don't always. Uh, I'm working on a screenplay that I'm trying to finalize. So yeah, I write every every day. Um, but uh, I'll definitely um, go through phases where I can't write. You know, um, where where I can't write, uh, where I don't feel uh, like I have the ability to write. You know. And when you go through that, are you, did you used to be hard on yourself and now you just accept it as part of the process or how does that work? No, I don't accept, uh, I, I'm always hard on myself and I don't accept that as part of the process. Um, I just, uh, I, uh, um, I just am. Uh, and, uh, sort of always rewriting as I write and um, never happy with anything out of the gate, uh, I guess what I'll say to you is that I don't write very quickly in that respect. I sort of inch by inch, word by word, go through the, the, the pages and I think uh, I'm a little bit of a slower writer in that respect than other people because if I give a first draft to somebody, the chances are it's, it's more like a, a fifth or sixth draft, you know, I've, I've kind of I, I'll go the next day and just rewrite what I did the day before then get into new stuff you know oh, okay so you'll go back and, and sort of revise you oh, won't put it in a drawer for three weeks and no I never I don't I don't <clears throat> if I ever blast through pages you know uh, which is from rare for me like if I were just like whip out five pages um, you can be sure that the next day I will rewrite those pages and then I'll rewrite them again the next Friday and then I'll rewrite I'll probably write them we read them 11 times before they ever see the light of day to a person reading them. You know, uh, I mean, it's not going to say it takes seven years or anything, but I, I'm always sort of just kind of getting caught up in the polishing and the making sure of the, the aesthetic of the script is as important as the, as the characters and the story and the narrative. Um, you know, making sure the pages read like butter is very important. Um, to, to me uh, and to the reader, to whether that be a, a producer or an actor, or an actress, or a financer, it's it's part of it. And I, for some reason, I go down those rabbit holes uh, a lot. Do you think that comes from being a musician as well, or just? Oh, I don't know. I don't know where it comes from. I think it comes from. Uh, um, I don't know. I just I I just if a word is off or wrong, or if something doesn't feel like you know, it, if there's a rhythm off of the dialogue. Uh, I think this actually more comes from improv classes, you know, because when I was in college, uh, I really just wanted to be an actor. And uh, imp when you do improv, and I was in a, a, a few different groups uh, and a few different acting coaches, one of them actually passed away a, a, a few months ago, but... Um, when you improvise, it's a very empowering, uh, enlightening thing, and I think um, it, 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 it's great if you are a writer um, to have that experience, because essentially what you can do then <clears throat> is you can take two characters and really not know where anything is going and let them improvise on the page. Um, and that's how I write, really is I, I, bound, I improvise between two characters on I mean, well, what would I like the next person to say? What would be nice and then what's the good rhythm? Um, and then I hate it the next day. You know, that's basically how it works. <laughs>